of a man that wanted to change spirit, and he asked him, what is thy name? And he answered, my name is Legion, for we are many. Hallelujah. And he besought him that much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding, and all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. Forthwith Jesus gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out, entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place in the sea. They were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. And they that fed the swine fed and told it in the city and in the country, and they went out to see what it was that was done. And they come to Jesus. And seeing him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind. Hallelujah. And they were afraid. Yeah. There you go. Hallelujah. <laughs> Whew. What do you think they was afraid of? They wasn't afraid of legion anymore. He's clothed and in his right mind. They weren't afraid of Jesus. Or were they? I don't think so. What were they afraid of? They were afraid their sin was about to be found up. Amen. Because it was against Mosaic law for them to be raising pigs. It was against Mosaic law for them to be eating pork. Amen. And they were, fine. They were afraid that Jesus was about to reveal their sin to the rest of the world. Oh, but you hear me tonight. Amen. He didn't come to reveal sin, your sin to the rest of the world. He come to forgive your sin. He come to set you free just like he did the demoniac that was sitting there. He had set him free. Amen. That perfect love had cast out the fear that was in there. The perfect love of God had taken that that beer and had driven it into the demons or into the pigs and the pigs those things that they weren't even supposed to have anyway had ran off the cliff and drowned I want you to understand tonight amen there's a God in this house who is saying to somebody here tonight you've been in fear for way too long now it's time that you begin to seek the Lord it's big oh listen to me it's time that you begin to follow after Jesus it's it's time that you begin to try to find him in the power of the Holy Ghost because until he's come into you and filled you with the Holy Ghost until you've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins amen you're still fair game for the fear tactics of the devil you know how the devil wins most of his battles fear Hallelujah. Did you ever wake up in the middle of the night? Did you ever wake up in the middle of the night and just be <gasps> stone cold fear? Hallelujah. I remember several years ago, my kids were little and <clears throat> we were living in a little wood frame house and my, there was two bedrooms on one end. And then there was an office and a living room and a kitchen and down an area. And then on the other end, they had taken the garage in and made the master bedroom down there. And uh, the bathroom was all the way on the other end of the house between the two kid bedrooms. And so we put the kids in those two bedrooms. My oldest daughter was in the, the left-hand bedroom when you went down the hallway. And in the right-hand bedroom, there was uh, two beds where my middle daughter slept in one and my my son slept in the other. They were all little guys at the time. Amen. And, uh, so we're in the middle of the night one night, along around 3 o'clock. Let me tell you, uh, most of you know this, but the devil does most of his really vicious bidding in between 3 and 5 in the morning. Hallelujah. That's not saying he ain't working other times. It's just that's when he's really, really, really active. And so uh, uh, probably around 3, 3.30 in the morning, all of a sudden, man, I woke up wide awake. And there was a demon in the room with me. Oh, hallelujah. I had already known that he was coming and going around there, but I, I had not felt him in the house. But this particular night, amen, I woke up and this demon was there in my room. And, 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 and he was sitting uh, at the end of my bed. And I sat up in bed and I began to pray. And about that time, my wife woke up. Boom, she sat up in bed. She goes, what is that? I said, ah, oh, it's just the devil. 
And I think it was probably a little more forceful than that. It's a demon. Amen. But you know what? We just began to pray. My wife will tell you, it was nothing uh, nothing major happened. And we began to pray. And while we were praying, all of a sudden that demon took off. And he headed out that door down towards my kids' rooms. And I was like, you're not going in there, big boy. And I jumped up out of that bed and I chased him through the house. And rebuking him in the name of Jesus. He turned the corner, went through my son's room and out the window he went <laughs> hallelujah uh, but I, I understand amen that you, you know there, there's been people that have told me I woke up in the middle of the night and uh, there was a demon sitting on my chest and I couldn't breathe and it scared me so bad oh let me tell you something if you're really where you should be with God if you're really praying like you should pray if you're really fasting like you should fast if you're really seeking God and putting him first in your life foremost and for everything else amen if you're willing to lay down the things of this world. You, you got to understand the things of this world are his portals. Amen. There are things in this world that he uses to get into our homes. They're portals. Amen. As, as you please. And we have to get rid of those portals. Whether it's a book or whether it's a television, whatever it may be, it has to go. Simply because of the fact we don't need to get, oh, the Bible said, give not place to the devil. Hallelujah. And so we get rid of those portals and and, and, and and those spirits of hell, amen, they try to wreak, wreak havoc in our lives. They try to put fear in us. Uh, but the Bible said, uh, amen, that that perfect love of God cast out all that fear. Uh, it, it, that's what happened on that, get, guess, uh, that uh, little island that day, uh, amen, whenever uh, Jesus stepped off of that boat onto that island, uh, that man come running uh, and fell at Jesus feet. Those demons begin to talk out through him. It was simply the fact they knew who he was. And there was a fear in them. What the devil doesn't want you to know tonight is, amen, that as long as you've got him full tilt in your life, as long as everything you do is centered around Jesus, as long as you've given him everything you've got, as long as you made sure you're covered by his blood, baptized in his name, amen, there's not a demon in hell that's willing to really mess with you. Well, Brother Mr. how come it is I hear folks in church that are, they're talking about being so scared because a demon showed up in their house because they haven't been praying. They haven't dedicated and consecrated themselves to God totally. But when you get to the place where there's total consecration and dedication, it doesn't make no difference how many demons show up. Amen. You just tell them, get lost. They ain't got time for you. Roll over and go back to sleep. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, I like Brother old, old brother Tom Barnes. He had the right attitude when that witch came into his office that day and began to curse everything in his office and then looked at him and cursed his sleep and said, you won't sleep from this point forward. I like the attitude that he took that night as that demon walked into his room and woke him up and said, you're not going to sleep a week tonight, big boy. Oh, I like that attitude he took. Come here, devil. Oh, hallelujah. Come here, devil. Let me tell you something. You're in the wrong house, big boy. I know who sent you. You go back to her house, and whatever she told you to do to me, you do it twice as much to her. Hallelujah. Oh, let me tell you something tonight. There's some witches in this town. Amen. There's some people in this town that have been sending some spirits to some of us. Oh, hear what I'm saying tonight. I'm not shooting in the breeze. Amen. I'm telling you the truth. There's some spirits that have been sent to this church and to this people. Oh, but hear me tonight. We don't have anything to fear. We can send them back where they came from. In the name of Jesus, if you've got where you're at in the Holy Ghost, if you're where you're supposed to be in God, there should be no fear. Amen. But that devil knows. Amen. When you begin to consecrate and dedicate toward God, he really doesn't have a chance with you. Hallelujah. I like to torment the devil. Hallelujah. I always said I wish that at judgment 
that God would just stand him on the edge of the pit.